Good morning, Centurions. I'm Chloe Nell. Coming up today, we continue Women's History Month. I'm with Chris Kulik with your sports news. Boys Volleyball plays Golden Valley tomorrow. Now let's go to Danny Williams with another episode of The Mix. Good morning, Centurions. I'm Jason Hardy, and today is Monday, April 24th. This is the first day of Senior Week on, on SNN. Each day, there will be a different senior guest anchor. And I'm Randy Sanchez, and this is SNN. Coming up today, we'll take a look at Texas Tip with Jorian Bates. Today is also National Pigs in a Blanket Day. Oink, oink. <laughs> there are no words to describe what that means. Please stand for the pledge. Please stand for the flag salute. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. This Wednesday, the jazz band will perform at Vicenza's Pizza on Bouquet at 6.30. If you are a junior honor scholar, go to the registrar's office to pick up a form and instructions for participating in this year's graduation ceremony. Forms are due back to the registrar no later than May 12th. The last day to sign up for the ACT is coming up. The June test deadline is May 5th. You can register online at the website below. Did you know that this week in April is the California High School Voter Education Week? If you are 16 or 17, you can pre-register to vote. If you do, you will automatically be fully registered as a voter in all California elections once you turn 18 years old. Think you have the best car or bike? You can prove and enter the annual Saugus Car of the Year. Scotty will be held on April 26th on outdoor basketball courts. Applications are due April 25th and can be found in the ASB office. Now let's go to Lauren Jordan with your ASB Minute. Hey Saugus, this is Lauren Jordan with this week's ASB Minute. This week is the 2017 Prom Spirit Week. Today is Pajama Day, tomorrow will be Twin Day, Wednesday is Crazy Sock Day, Thursday is College Attire Day, and Friday is the day of the Blacklight Rally, so make sure to wear your neon class colors. Seniors wear pink, juniors wear yellow, sophomores wear orange, and freshmen wear green. Also, throughout the week, there will be a poster on the outdoor stage during both brunches for seniors to write their names or a little message on. Now let's go to Gary Bajorquez with your sports news. I'm Gary Bohorkas with your sports news. Today at 1 p.m., boys golf plays in the Palm de Invitational at Crystal Air. Tomorrow at 5.30, boys volleyball will compete against Valencia. Tomorrow at 3 p.m., swim and dive competes against Western at the Aquatic Center. Tomorrow, boys tennis will play Hart. Hart Varsity plays at Hart at 3 p.m. Softball plays West Ranch tomorrow. Varsity plays at West Ranch at 3.15, and JV and, and Frosh both play at Saugus at 3.15. Baseball plays West Ranch on Wednesday. Varsity plays at West Ranch at 3.30 p.m., JV plays at Saugus at 4 p.m., and Frosh plays at the Hart Pony Complex at 7 p.m. Track and field plays in the Foothill Prelims on Thursday at COC at 2 p.m. Tonight at 6.30, hockey plays Bakersfield at the ice station at 6.30. Good luck to all Centurion athletes. Track is hosting a shoe drive. You can bring your gently used shoes to the front office. Mrs. Montgomery's, Mr. Burns, or Mr. Progress's room. Donations will be accepted until Friday. Clean out your closet to help a good cause. Now let's go to Jordan Bates with some helpful tips on text to tip Hello, I'm Jordan Bates and I'm here to inform you about a useful communication service provided by our school, text to tip text to tip is a communication service on your phone that you can text when you want to report something. If you use text to tip you should report the following wrongdoings. Bullying, abuse, fights, and violence all fall in the same category. If you are aware of any fights or abuse and want to make a difference, don't be an observer. They all apply to bullying because bullying can be in any shape or form, such as if someone is being treated wrongly or unfairly. It is an example of bullying and abuse. It doesn't matter either if it's verbally or physically. Even if you don't realize it, it affects them. It doesn't only mean that bullying can come only face to face. 
It can also be on a phone or computer screen. Yes, cyberbullying is a thing and should be reported because any type of bullying can lead to dangerous things such as suicide. Report a crime. An example of a crime you should report is theft. It doesn't matter if someone just took something from someone's bag just to play a joke. It is still a crime. Either ask that person to give the item back or talk to a teacher. But if you're too scared to talk with other people, you can just text a tip, but don't make false accusations. Report any drug dealings. There are a lot of dangerous drugs that have ruined the lives of many teenagers. According to multiple resources, being a teenager puts a lot of stress on you. So some teens have been doing these dangerous drugs such as tobacco and marijuana. But drugs can really hurt you when you are a teen. Since you are so young, you will have a greater risk of getting addicted to these things, which could really affect your brain and bodily function process. Text a tip is a really useful tool. Now you keep it in mind if you want to report something in campus or off campus. The number of text a tip is 661-776-5747. For more information, you can find posters in classrooms, on campus, or you can just talk to our chairs. Now that's all for me, now let's go back to the studio. Thanks, Jorian. Remember, the number is 661-776-5747. Fiddler on the Roof continues this Thursday and Friday night at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 for adults and $7 for students. Summer school applications are still available. If you're interested, applications are in the counting office. Math Tutor Club will be hosting tutoring sessions Tuesdays and Thursdays from 315 to 415 in room J1012. Attention all sophomores, juniors, and seniors. If you haven't done so already, check your hard district email to see if you have qualified for the AutoNation car giveaway. The drawing will be this Thursday at the Canyon High School Stadium, starting at 6 p.m. That's all for today. I'm Chasen Hardy. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. T uh, senior News is now available in Saugus Today. <laughs> and, then, and I'm Aaron Sanchez. Don't forget to visit Saugus uh, News Network to keep up on the latest news on campus. Have a great day. Shout out to Amanda Parker. Got a problem with me, Chasen. No chance.